It's race day folks and we are in England for the 11th round of the 2020 FIA season. We will have qualifying and race highlights from the Brands Hatch circuit. For this event I am using the McLaren F1 GTR. I was able to get some good decent times in practice. The trouble I was having was the consistency as the McLaren is so fine in margins on how to maximise speed through the corners over a lap, let alone in a race with a full tank of fuel and tyre wear. Brands Hatch is an unforgiving track with grass everywhere. It has lots of character and drivers face a tough task of keeping the cars on the track. This is my best lap from qualifying. I was disappointed in how I took that left hander. I reckon I lost around half a second, but we carry on and try our best. After the mistake earlier in the lap, we finished the lap strong with a respectable time of 123.906. If you look ahead, you can see Happy Meal go off for his McDonald's. I did not improve for the remainder of this session. And it's on to the race now, where we will start from P6. It's go 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 for the start of the Brands Hatch race. We are off and I am ready for this one. Being the last race of the day, there is a lot at stake. Coming into turn two and the Misabubu runs a little wide. I can help but stick my nose at the inside and we have a little rub. I'll get a good run on the exit and we're up the inside, but to my amazement he come across the front of my car. He lost out on this occasion and up to P5 we go. I feel comfortable on the fresh tyres in the McLaren, but it's as the race goes on we become very nervy. To be consistently quick at Brands Hatch you need a good rhythm and flow. This is another challenge in race mode as the wiggly cars from different makes of manufacture 
take different lines for optimal speed. As we come to the end of the first lap, we have the Italian leading from the man from Greece. The Greece man decides to play football with a cone, and as this happens, we notice instead of Meza Erzil, we've got Prima Erzil. Ozil is in third position, but is under threat from Rex. Rex performs a master pass and overtake him, and dips one under the inside. So Rex has got his £50 million move to Arsenal. If you don't know who Meza Ozil is, he is an Arsenal football player. And the ironic thing is, is that we're behind a Ferrari in Ozil today. And if you take a look at Enzo Ferrari and Meza Ozil, there's a very, very similar look about them. We have settled into the race really well and we are starting to create a gap behind us. We skip to the start of lap 5, where we're holding on really well to the leading group. We've also got the Subaru behind us who's managed to close up. Start of lap 8 now and we're losing touch with the leading pack. We're running quite consistent pace but the leaders are just too quick for me. The Spanish driver in the Subaru is giving me a lot of pressure. I expect him to be a handful for the rest of the race. As we enter the penultimate lap, the Subaru has been given me a handful. The Spanish driver has had a good 6 or 7 laps to work out where he can make his move, but he's getting desperate now, it's the last couple of laps, and round Brands Hatch, overtaking opportunities are limited. I've got a very powerful engine, so as long as I get out the corners fine, I should be ok. Pushing so hard, the Spanish driver runs wide and clips the Brands Hatch turf. This sends him off and his heart must have sank. Luckily, he comes out with not much punishment. I only need to drive one more clean lap to come home in a fifth place. But will we join the last lap for the leaders? As this battle's been tense all race, not much action's been going on, but they've been very close. So let's take a look at what happens. We can call it a last lap showdown with an Italian, Englishman and a Greek. Rex the Brit in his BMW has already shown his overtaking ability in this race 
and the Italian in the lead is holding on in his Honda NSX. The Greek guy in his Volkswagen Beetle has patiently been waiting for his chance at this victory. The top three have driven a hard and fair race, but unfortunately the man from Greece has suffered a Gran Turismo penalty. It's a shame because it's been a good race and it's a shame his race had to end this way. Due to this, Ozil is going to promote himself up to third position. It is the Italian who comes home to take victory at Brands Hatch, followed by Rex and Ozil. The man from Greece comes fourth and Bubu comes fifth. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.